Hello everyone, we reached video 18 in our series. I divided video 18 into two parts. Part 1, I will show you how to visualize two variables, discrete x and continuous y. Next video, I will show you how to visualize error in R plots. You will find documentation of this video with quotes in my R blog. I put the link in the description below. So let's start. So to visualize two variables, the skid x and continuous y, we will be using ggplot2. To be able to create a ggplot, we need to have three essential things. Data, where the data will come from. The aesthetics, you will specify which variables you want to use, x and y. And geometry, what type of plot you want to create. So today, I will show you how to create box plot, dot plot bar plot for two variables, discrete x and continuous y. So as an example, we will use cirrhosis data from my clinic. And as a continuous variables, we will use the aspartate amino transferase. And for our discrete variables, we will use the stage. So we have histological stage of the disease from one to four. Also as a discrete, we will use male and female as additional thing to our plot. So if you didn't install ggplot package, you need to install it and then load it into R. Then, before we initiate a ggplot, we need to convert the stage from numeric to factor. Since we are dealing with discrete variables, we need to have it as a factor. Then, we will initiate a ggplot. First, we will specify where the data will come from. And then, we will specify the aesthetics. So, we will have x, the stage, and uh, y, it will be the aspartate level. So, for box plot, we will use the geome box plot function. For dot plot, we will use the geom jitter, and for bar plot, we will use geom call if you want to visualize the mean, which we will do today. And also, if you want to visualize the sum, you can use the geom bar. So, to create any of the plot, we need to add x. The simplest way to create a box plot is to use just the geom box plot function, and your box plot will be created. So, now let's go to R Studio and see how we can do it and enhance these plots. The first four commands is to download and load dataset into R. So now our dataset is ready. I'm using this command to clean up if there is any non-available data in the table. Now we will load ggplot2. If you didn't install it before, install it. You'll find the command in my R blog. And we are converting the stage from numeric to factor here. And now let's create the ggplot we are specifying that the data will come from data, which is our table, and the aesthetics x is stage, and y is aspartate level. So let's create the ggplot object. Now we will use the geom box plot function to create a box plot. So we already specified the data and the aesthetics. Now here we are specifying the geometry. So let's run this command, and now we have the box plot. So we can enhance it by adding colors to it. So we say here color equals stage. So each stage will be different color. And also we can uh, fill this box plot and we will use this command to remove the gray background and here to label the X and Y properly. And now we have a ready graph to be used. Also, we can add another variable like six to the plot so here we will have for each stage the male and the female so now we finish from box plot let's go to dot plot we will use the geom jitter function and here we are using this argument to make the, the dots in the middle so if we don't use this for example argument we will have very messy look so now let's color the dots by six and also remove the gray background and label x and y so here now a better looking plot also what we can do is we can add shape also so we will add colors to the stage and shape to six so we are having different color for each stage and the shape of male will be round and the male will be triangle also what we can do is we can combine dot plot with the box plot 
So first we need to put the box plot function, then we put the geomgeter function. So let's run this command and it will be on top of each other. So if you put the geomgeter first, then it will plot the dot first and then on top of it it will plot the box plot. So at the end we came to the bar plot. So as I mentioned, you can use the geom bar to visualize the sum of each stage. So Let's run this command. Here we are having the mean for each stage, which is more informative. Now we are adding colors and removing the gray area and adding labels. So let's run this command, a better looking graph. And here we also can specify different color for six. So we'll have two group in each stage. We will have female and the male. And Lastly, if you want to save the current plot in your RStudio, you just run this command. So, next video will be about how to visualize error bar in R. Thank you for watching.